the sirens and the sirens and the sirens and it was non-stop and it was terrifying crying and confusion as the parkland tragedy unfolded parents reuniting with children rushing out where 17 were killed one photo in particular captured the fear and panic on two mothers' faces. In that moment, it was just, it was two moms comforting each other. It's panic, it's frustration, it's anger. It became an iconic moment in defining another chapter of school shootings in America. I never really looked at the picture. I just kind of wanted to pretend, pretend like it wasn't even me. Both mothers' children ultimately were safe, but the bond between the two women in the photo did not survive. They're at odds, like the nation itself over gun control. This community is like fractured into two factions now. The people who are working on school safety and making schools like into fortresses, and then the people are working on improving gun legislation. One of the mothers, Kathy Rush, declined to be interviewed with the other. I saw a familiar face and she had fear on her face. Politics aside, the two still feel the pain and fear captured on camera. And I said, oh my God, Kathy, what's going on? Are you okay? And and she said, I can't reach my son, I can't contact him. And then my heart just started breaking. So my God, if she doesn't know if her son is alive or dead and she's here crying and can't reach him. And how many parents that we know are losing children right now? I want people to know that they don't want that to happen to them. Rush couldn't reach her son when the photo was taken. She's still angry. And I want everybody, everybody in the whole country to see that picture, and I want their hearts to break for all the families here. Because guess what? It, this happens all the time. Eventually, it's going to happen in your community, too. One year later, the wounds of tragedy still fresh. Joshua Plogel, The Associated Press, Parkland, Florida.